Remember Cognition, the team behind Windsurf, the Gentic AI IDE, and Devin, the world's first AI software engineer, has been on an absolute tear lately with some serious game-changing releases. Just recently, they had dropped Sway Grep and Sway Grep Mini. These are two ultra-fast AI models built specifically for finding the right code context instantly. So this is where agents can spend seconds, not minutes, searching large code bases. Then came Sway 1.5. This is where Cognition released a fast agent model. This is a frontier scale model delivering near state-of-the-art coding performance at insane speeds. It hits up to 950 tokens per second, making it up to 13 times faster than Sonnet 4.5. It's available right now within Windsurf. And most recently, they introduced code maps. This is a powerful new way to understand your code base before you actually even touch it. Instead of just generating code, code maps is something that builds interactive structured maps of your code base, and it will essentially help you trace logic, debug faster, and stay in flow, especially in large or unfamiliar projects. Together with all of these new updates with fast context, fast agents, and code maps, you aren't just replacing engineers, they're actually making you faster, sharper, and more accountable. And that's why exactly we are back again to demonstrate all of these new features. For this video though, the real star of the show is code maps because this is a tool that can genuinely change the way you vibe code. And more importantly, it upgrades your entire coding workflow. Code maps is the AI powered coding system for understanding your code base, not just generating more code. Instead of just jumping straight to edits, code maps is going to build structured interactive maps of your code showing you files, how they actually function, how the modules actually connect, so that you can understand what you're working with before you touch it. But you might be asking, why does this even matter? This is because most AI-powered coding tools optimize for output, not understanding. They read, think, and write on your behalf, which is fine for small tasks, but dangerous when you're actually working in large, complex, or high-stake code bases. That's why it is really important to actually understand before you vibe code and turn into vibe slot. Code maps is something that flips that model. It puts the mental model back into your head. It helps you reason through systems faster, debug with confidence, and stay accountable for what ships while you're moving fast in your coding workflow. That's why code maps isn't just a feature, it's a new foundation as to how AI assisted engineering should actually work. Get started with code maps. You're obviously going to need to have the Windsurf AI IDE. You can easily install it for whatever operating system you have. In this case, I have it for Windows, so I'm going to simply go ahead and install it for it. After installing Windsurf, you can simply go ahead and open up any directory within the IDE. And one thing I want to note is that code maps is something that is powered by the Sway 1.5 as well as the Cloud Sonnet 4.5, which is going to be able to get you the best contextual analysis off of your code base. Within the IDE now, if you were to press Control or Command Shift C, you're gonna be able to access code maps. This is the left end panel where you can enter a starting point for any sort of new code map. You can also use the Control or Command plus Shift plus G command to help you set that point. You also have the ability to access it within the left end panel where you can simply click on this button to access code maps. But now you may wonder, how do you actually use code maps? Well, within this text box, you can write in your natural language prompt where code maps is really gonna shine in on your code base. This is where it can generate a snapshot of your code base structured specifically around your question. It's not just generic summary. It's focused more on task aware mapping as well as respecting zero data retention. Now you can select two different models. You can use the fast mode, which is where it can use the Sway 1.5, or you can use the Smart Mode to use the Sonnet 4.5. Then you can simply just go ahead and send in your prompt. This is essentially where you can use the FAST model to help you map out your entire code base. This is where code maps is really going to shine on real code, real problems. You can ask various sorts of things like how features work, where data flows, or why something is breaking, and it maps the relevant parts of the system for you. In practice, it's especially powerful when you're tracing client-server interactions, when you're understanding the data pipeline itself, 
or debugging the authentication or security issues. And just from that quick demo, it was able to create a code map that traces my authentication flows across three distinct applications. And you can see that gives me a summary and provides me the code snippets for each individual authentication flow. This is something that it was able to easily map out with a single prompt. And this is a way for you to get a better understanding of each login flow. This is just one way for you to map out your code base, but it is essentially something that can help you out where it can give you denser and more grounded navigation around your code base and help you understand each and every component. But what's even wild is that, say if I wanna understand user registration flows for this next, uh, next auth.js project, I can simply toggle the diagram view. And this is where I can get a full-fledged diagram that gives me an understanding of flow of this project. And you can see that it creates different sorts of graphs for any sort of flow that we're looking for. And this is a great way for you to visually understand the overall flow of this code base. Even if your only goal is to quickly just jump through the parts of the code that is related for your question, Code Maps is already a major upgrade because instead of just a general chat response, you get a grouped and nested section that is directly linked to each component even through different diagrams, and it will highlight the exact lines of code that matters. So in this case, through this diagram, I'm able to highlight that specific node thanks to the code map view. And each node represents a meaningful part of the system. And clicking on any node takes you straight to the corresponding code of that code base. Whether you are using it like a text-based navigation or a visual or exploration, Code Maps is going to give you fast, precise, and grounded access to your code. And say if you want to get that textual understanding of that particular part, you can have it so that there is a guide which gives you a better understanding of it, or you can simply just ask it through the chatbot where you can send it to Cascade. So if you want to get a better understanding of the flow, you can tell it to give me a simpler understanding, and then you can send in this prompt and it will be uh, sent over to the Cascade agent, which will give you a better descriptive understanding of this particular part of your code base. But now having the code map feature directly within the code editor, as well as these models like Sway 1.5, where you can use it so that you can get fast and high quality coding agents that can reason. And you can also use the Sway grep model where you can use it to make edits and use the Sway grep so that you can have blazing fast precision across your code base with contextual retrieval. And that is going to help you understand where things live better making changes. And with the combination of all of these together, you're going to be able to get the best out of the generations with this workflow. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically guys for today's video. In short, this is a remarkable feature for AI assisted coding because it doesn't just generate code, it is gonna help you understand your code base deeply where you can navigate through it quickly, stay in the flow and get the best generations. And obviously paired with these great models, you're gonna be able to have a better experience coding smarter and more confidently while being more efficient. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter. And I just wanna say thanks to Cognition for sponsoring today's video. Really appreciate them for helping us out and keeping the lights on at the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. Make sure you subscribe. Take a look at our previous videos. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.